Amazing Grace is some of the first this fast from Toy Story. Yeah. Amazing! Graces! Another first is passed for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Amazing! Graces! Another first is passed for Toy Story. Yay! Yay! Hello, what's up guys? My name is Percy and I'm the Guinness World Record holder for the largest collection of fast food toys. Yeah, baby. And I'm here once again to tell you another amazing and stupendous and awe inspiring first is fast food toy story for today. Okay, so our toy for today is none other than the Pest Girl from the Pest Dispensers. Okay, I'm glad that uh, Funko Pop was able to come up with uh, the pop versions of these very, very popular iconic figures. <laughs> yeah, especially if you're a collector of uh, Pest Dispensers, this is definitely a must-have in your collection. Look at that, Pest Girl looking very fine and dandy. <laughs> Very spiffy. <laughs> okay, so over this side we have the test in full form as a cartoon version. And then at the back we have a half image of the Pest Girl with some of the other characters from the Pest Dispenser Company. Okay, so we have Peter, what's this? The Peter Pest and the, the Manic. Is it Mimic? Mimic the Monkey. And pest girl. Okay, so I actually have the Peter Pass already, so I'm looking forward to actually owning the, the monkey here, which apparently is very iconic as well. So, all of these are uh, the most popular and best selling pest dispensers that were ever produced. Okay, so this is great! The pest girl. You know, just a little trivia. As we all know, the Pest Dispenser was made way back 1927 by Edward Half III in Vienna, Austria. Contrary to popular belief, we might have thought that uh, the Pest Dispenser uh, w uh, was originated from the United States. Not at all. It was only introduced in the States in 1957 and since then it became some sort of a pop uh, culture. <laughs> you, you know what is in the States. So once you're able to permeate that, eventually the product becomes uh, even more popular, doubly popular than when it was introduced in Vienna, Austria. Okay, so and now did you know that uh, in around 1940s, um, Pest came up with this pin-up girls. They called Pest girls. <laughs> okay, they're advertising Pest as some sort of an alternative to smoking. And indeed, uh, so, to some, it became a very efficacious way of actually overcoming their cravings for a cigarette. <laughs> so it's the next best thing. It's like um, a peppermint in your mouth. Incidentally, Pest was actually derived from a German word, peppermint. <laughs> peppermint. So they actually got the, the first letter and the middle letter and the Z at the end of the, the German uh, term for peppermint. So thus uh, was born the name Pest. Okay, now going back, in the 1940s, uh, they came up with pinup girls, these uh, Pest girls, advertising the Pest in a container before it was. Uh, the, the candies were contained in a tin box, but in 1940s, they sort of put them in a very small container, sort of um, simulating uh, a lighter, a <laughs> cigarette lighter. So you just pop it up, especially if you're craving for a cigarette, you just pop it up and then it must be effective in actually <laughs> Uh, actually deviating, I mean diverting your attention to a cigarette. Okay, that, that, that is a very noble uh, thing for Pest to do. Okay, now in the 1950s, there were a lot of these series of pin-up girls, the Pest girls. They're somewhat similar to that of Coca-Cola. You know, there are a lot of uh, girl models uh, advertising Coca-Cola. And so did Pest. They have uh, this artist, this um, really great artist, Gerard Bras, who came up with all sorts of uh, um, wonderful pest girls advertising this delicious alternative to smoking. Okay, the pest dispenser. Okay, now in the 1960s, um, there is an evolution that happened with the pest girl and it somehow evolved into a more uh, wholesome image. 
and uh, he uh, she sort of resembled uh, Jackie <laughs> Onassis Kennedy. So if you take a look at this particular pest, this pest girl, you may think, uh, does she look like uh, Jackie O, Jackie Kennedy? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> and then in the 1970s, a further evolution happened to the pest girl and she became a more wholesome, an even more wholesome uh, pest girl, like a girl next door and she is sort of uh, uh, is constantly portraying a uh, cheerleader <laughs> and of course still advertising the best can okay now this particular uh, version of the best girl is uh, to me to my own uh, evaluation looks more like Jackie Ognassus Kennedy okay okay would you like me to open it okay let's open it don't get down down hold in a second Okay, ta-da! So this is the pest girl, our pop, Funko Pop toy. Look at her. And like I said, uh, she is donning this wonderful bob, uh, sort of uh, resembling that of Jackie Onassis Kennedy. Okay. Well, it appears that the, it's sort of like a stewardess dress. Well, anyway, over on top we have the hat with the pest uh, logo here. Actually, the logo is actually uh, made up of different uh, bricks of pest candies. <laughs> that a sort of uh, were able to spell out S P E Z. Okay, the hair is so nice. It's like a windblown hair. And, uh, yeah, I cannot get over the fact that uh, she actually looks like a Jackie Kennedy. Uh, is there a mirror in there? Okay, she has this wonderful vintage smile, very vintage, uh, sort of a 1960s smile with some freckles there. And then the, the dress is a mini skirt with long sleeves, uh, uh, top, and it's colored blue. And once again, it also has the PES logo in the breastplate. Okay, and then she has those black shoes with some white socks. And then it appears if you take close to, uh, closely, <laughs> You would see that this pest girl is actually holding her own pest dispenser of her likeness. So this is the pest girl, uh, which has um, the yellow base. This is very, very popular. If you happen to have this particular dispenser, it might fetch a very high price. <laughs> it might be very valuable in the in the market right now, probably around hundred dollars or a thousand dollars even. And that would be awesome if you have it. Well, if I were to have that, I definitely wouldn't part with it. I would, um, I would uh, most likely keep it in my collection and have it as one of the most valuable uh, pest dispenser in my collection. Okay, and then there is a clear base here, which is also detachable, so you can simply remove it. But I think if you're going to display it, it would be best that it has this clear base to display our Jackie Kennedy. <laughs> Best girl. Okay, so isn't it great? Look at the back. Your hair looks so fine and dandy. <laughs> okay, now I must say this is just an amazing grace. So once again guys, let's try to be thankful to God for all the amazing grace that comes to our lives. Be the informed this best girl, the spokesperson of best candies uh, from a long time ago and this Funko Pop is definitely awesome and so great or also be thankful for pest candies uh, yeah I've been a collector of pest dispensers uh, and I also love their candies they're great collectible as well probably I have around uh, 500 or so of these best dispensers and I, I'm still looking forward to actually collecting the the newer uh, pest dispensers and nowadays I've seen uh, Funko Pop versions of the pest dispenser so you can buy pest dispensers with the heads of the famous Funko Pops uh, uh, as a dispenser and that is pretty neat if I may do say so myself or basically guys let's be thankful for every amazing grace be they small or big be they seemingly insignificant or the truly eventful ones or just about every amazing grace that make our lives a lot more happy and jolly and i would like to thank you also for tuning in to percy's fast food toy story and i hope to see you again with our next one so until the next percy's uh, toy story bye bye and see you around thank you to the new subscribers bye bye